Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a get ready with me using my summer essentials. Now just to give you a little heads up, it is 115 degrees here in Portland, Oregon. We're going through sort of a heat dome, which is very unusual. So I thought it would be fun to do a little get ready with me using my summer essentials and creating a look that is easy and simple on these hot summer days when you wanna look polished and put together, but you don't want to be using a bunch of makeup or feel like you have a bunch of makeup on your face. So if you are interested in learning about my summer essential products, as well as how I created this look today, and of course, ending with a fragrance of the day that is perfect for those high heat days, then let's go ahead and get started. So clearly it is very hot out. So I'm gonna be focusing on quick and easy light makeup. I also am going to start by putting on sunscreen. So, so far I have already used on my body. Putting sunscreen on your body is just as important as putting it on your face. And Shanta Kai just came out with this C Screen 30. And this is a mineral broad spectrum. And it is a really fine mist and it's an SPF of 30. This is reef safe. It's also non nano zinc. It's water resistant and it also supports wild aid. So you guys, I have been loving this because I love a spray kind of SPF for my body because it can hit all the parts that I may miss. So I've already put this on, but I just wanna show you how nice the spray is and just kind of nicely rubs this in. I love this because it's not sticky. It's really easy to use and I just love this for all over the body. So I will get out of the shower, you guys, put on body lotion, let that sink in, and then I am pretty meticulous during the summer months, but it should be year round. But when I'm gonna be having my shoulders out and skin out, and then I will use a SPF. I just find that the sprays are easier to use because there's little areas that I can spray on that I might miss if I was going to be putting on a cream. So I've really been enjoying this SPF and I just have to show you they sent the cutest little PR bag that it came in and this is from Catbird New York City and this is made out of lace curtains and I just think this is so adorable. This is called the lunch bag and I am new to this brand and I have to tell you, they've got amazing jewelry like really pretty kind of dainty jewelry and I love this bag so much. I definitely go check out Catbird New York City because they have a great, fantastic Instagram as well as websites. So I have definitely been checking that out, kind of gathering a little cart full of goodies. Okay, we've got SPF on the body and then I am going to prep my skin and I always use my favorite, and yep, you guys, it is still my favorite. It is the Glow Skin Beauty. This is the Solar Shade SPF. 50 and this is my preferred SPF that I use on my face every single day before I put makeup on. So I never depend on makeup for my SPF and I know it looks a little and yes when you first put it on you will have a little bit of a white cast but I promise you that it sinks in. So we'll let this kind of come in. And you guys, there's something very soothing about this Glow Skin Beauty. My skin just really loves it. I can be kind of sensitive to chemical sunscreens and this is a mineral-based sunscreen. It has an SPF of 50 and it's just been a long time favorite. I think I'm probably going on year three or four of using this consistently. So I will kind of rub this into my skin and I make sure to get the backs of my ears as well as I will take the rest and put it on my hands here. And I wish I had 
kind of applied the sunscreen on my hands earlier because I feel like I'm getting that kind of aging hand looks but we'll work on that later. We can come up with some strategies. Okay, then I am going to start with Lisa Eldridge. This is her Elevated Glow in Crystal Nebula. And you guys, I have fallen in love with this. So this is a fantastic highlighter and I like to use it underneath my foundation for kind of a really pretty glow on the skin. So I like to just use this doe foot and then I will tap it on the kind of high points of my cheek, a little bit on the bridge of the nose and a touch on my forehead and chin. Then I will just take a synthetic brush. I'm using my IT Cosmetics and I just tap that into the skin. And this gives you such a pretty natural highlight underneath your foundations. So this is how I've been using Lisa Eldridge's kind of elevated glow, kind of underneath my base for a really pretty glowy finish. And I did order the Cosmic Rose. Many of you told me I needed that color as well. So I definitely picked that up. Hopefully it'll show up soon. And then I always prep my lips with my Lip Maximizer. This is from Dior, but I'll just put a little bit of that on while I'm doing my makeup. So by the time I put on lipstick, my lips are kind of hydrated, plumped, and ready for that application. So when it is hot out, I don't like to wear a lot of heavy duty kind of foundation feels a little heavier on my skin, but I do of course want to even out my skin and kind of give myself a little bit of a blurring effect. So the two that I reach for most during the hot summer months are the Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. This is sort of a go-to for me. It's gonna give me a little bit of coverage. It's gonna hydrate my skin, but it's not gonna look like makeup or I've been really reaching for the Shantakai. This is the Future Skin Cushion. And you guys, I just really love this foundation. It's easy to use and it gives me a bit of coverage with a satin kind of finish. So today I'm gonna to use the Cushion Foundation and the way I like to use it is I take my Buff and Blur brush, I stick it right in the product and I simply kind of pat and blur this into the skin. Okay guys, this is what one layer of that foundation looks like. It just kind of feels a little bit cooling on the skin. It's very light in texture. You can kind of build it up if you want, but I just really like it for quick and easy makeup because it doesn't feel heavy but it is going to give me a little bit of coverage. And then if I want a little bit more coverage, this is when I will pull out my Chantecaille. This is the face and eye stick, and I really like this. And I really like this for kind of touching up in any area. So if I have a few little red dots, I will use a little bit of this to get a little bit more coverage. And I love the way that this melts in the skin. So I kind of like to use the heat of my fingertips and kind of blend that into the skin. And I just find that it looks really pretty. It kind of meshes into your skin a little bit, but it is gonna provide you with a little bit more coverage. So again, that's optional. You can totally just use the cushion itself. But if I feel like I want a little bit more coverage, this is what I will use. For concealer under the eyes, I'm gonna be using my Chantecaille. This is the Chantecaille, the Camouflage Stilo. And I love this one because it's very light in texture. It also has 
a little bit of caffeine in it. So it kind of gives you like a little temporary eye lift. So I will take my fingertips and then I will kind of put that right underneath the eyes here. And I don't personally use this one underneath my eyes. I feel like it's a little bit better for spot correcting than it is for underneath my eyes. You certainly can, but I prefer a little bit lighter texture underneath my particular eyes. Um, I feel like this could potentially kind of cake underneath versus this one it has a very nice thin texture. Okay, so. so we've got complexion on and then I'm just going to go ahead and set it real quick. And I have been reaching for my Sicily. This is the Fetopudra Compact and this one's in shade two. You can use any powder of choice. I've just been reaching for this a lot. It's very kind of finely milled and So I've been pulling a lot for this one because I find that it's not too mattifying, but it is also not too glowy. So if it's super hot out, you're going to get a natural glow anyways, because you're probably going to be sweating just a little bit. You get that natural dew on your skin. I don't try to like put a ton of powder on to counteract that. I just want to be able to set makeup so it's not going to be sliding around. And I just want to make sure I don't look like I have a lot of powder laying on top of my skin. Next, I'm going to warm up the skin and I pulled out my bronzer that I love. This is in Goa. So this one's going to be a little bit more of a cocoa toned kind of bronzer so it actually looks like I've been out in the sun that I got a little touch of redness from the sun so we're just gonna fake it and I will just take a little bit I'm using my Armani little sculpting brush here and we're gonna kind of warm up my skin and give me a little fake tan Then after I put on the bronzer, you guys, I just come in with my La Mer fluffy brush and I just sort of buff that into the skin as well, just to make sure we don't have any sharp edges. Okay, so we have faked a little bit of a tan here. We're gonna kind of let that mesh into the skin and move on to the eyes before putting blush on. So what I'm going to do is use the bronzer that I used on my face and I'm going to use that as an eye shadow and I am just going to create a little bit of a crease here with that bronzer. So I just sort of gave myself a little wash of color with that bronzer. So I just put a little wash of that bronzer on the eyes and then I have been pulling for my Lion. This is the luminescent eye shade and Lion is just this kind of gorgeous bronzy kind of gold shade and I have just been taking a little bit like this and it makes the easiest simple eye ever and I will just pat a little bit of that on my lid. And it's just such a pretty bronzy color, you guys. I've just found this to be sort of like an easy summer eye 
just leaving it like that and that it's not too baba boom that I can wear that kind of shade during the day. Then I like to use two different eyeliners and I prefer to use the Chanel. These are the Listy Low U. These are waterproof and they're just fantastic. They don't smudge. <laughs> These are basically my go-to eyeliners. I've got a million of them and yes, I did order some of the new formula. So those are showing up, I believe, tomorrow. So I'm so excited. But I'm going to be using Brune Agape, which is a chestnutty brown and then a bean that's kind of basically like a black eyeliner and I like to use the darker eyeliner up on my upper top and then use my brown agape I can use a little bit of both on both so I'm going to start with that first and this is the brown agape chestnutty brown and I'm going to just start by kind of defining And I put both of these in the waterline and then I'll go in with the darker, more intense color. And I'm actually going to line close to the lash line and then smudge it out. So this defines the eyes, but puts a little bit more emphasis on that upper lash line. And now I am going to do my brows, put on mascara, and I'll be right back before we finish off the face. Okay guys, that is my super easy, simple eye using that single lion eyeshadow. It's just a beautiful bronzy kind of gold. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use my Hermes blush. And this one is in Rose Abricot. And this is just a pretty kind of warm tone, rosy apricot color. And wanted to pull these out because I still really like these blushes. So using a little bit of oldies and goodies today. And this is one of my favorite colors. So I wanted to go ahead and use that. And then I am gonna take a little bit of this blush and I'm gonna just put a little bit of that in my eye look as well. Just a little touch. I feel like that just ties everything together and the shades is kind of complementary all around. And then for lips, I ended up pulling out one of my Chanel. This is the Rouge Coco Flash. This one is in shade 158 Dawn. And I just love this nude for summer, you guys. This is just a beautiful kind of warm beige nude, but it has enough color in it not to wash me out. So I just have really been loving this kind of glossy color in Dawn 158. Then we're gonna go ahead and set everything. I'm going to use And I'm using my Hydra Beauty Essence Mist, eking this out to the end. And yes, this will be another repurchase. This is so refreshing on these hot days. I do love this Hydra Beauty Essence Mist, you guys. It just feels lovely, very hydrating on the skin and very refreshing. Okay, then we're gonna finish with fragrance of the day. And when it is super hot out, I am looking for something to kind of cut through the heat that's gonna be light, fresh, inviting, nothing heavy or anything like that. And that is when I sort of tend to reach towards my Chanel kind of aldehydic 
kind of fragrances. And the two that come to mind that are easy wears are number five, the low version. This one's kind of an easy breezy everyday kind of fragrance. It's definitely got the classic Chanel kind of aldehydes in the opening. But the other one that I absolutely love, especially in the heat and when you want something light and crisp is 1957. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on you guys. This is the kind of fragrance I describe as sort of like a fresh, crisp, white sheet, something that's going to be easy to wear. It is going to have those aldehydes. It's going to kind of cut through the heat and make you feel a little bit more fresh and invigorated. So I kind of put this fragrance in the category of those sort of clean laundry kind of fragrances, which I love as well, you guys. We don't always want to smell like clean detergent. So this one's got a little bit more oop to it, does not totally smell like that. But if I was going to put it in a genre, if you are someone who enjoys those kind of clean, fresh kind of musk fragrances. This is a musk fragrance, but it's going to be lighter and it's also going to have that aldehyde to kind of lift it up and make it a little bit more invigorating. This is one that you're going to want to check out. It has got those beautiful kind of light Chanel florals in it. But to me, this is just an easy, perfect perfume to wear in hot heat. So again, it is supposed to be 115 degrees here today. Currently, it is already 97 degrees. And I want something that's going to make me feel fresh and clean and invigorated. And 1957 hits the bill on that one. So let me quickly read the notes to you. So the top notes in here are going to be white musk, aldehydes, bergamot, pink pepper, and coriander. So it does have a very fresh opening. As I've said many times, bergamot to me is always something that's going to give you a little bit more of that fresh opening and it always leads to something a little bit better in fragrances is sort of how I feel of it. Um, and then of course the white musk. The musk in here is not going to be heavy you guys. Again this is going to be a lighter more invigorating fragrance. Then in the middle notes you've got orange blossom and jasmine. So a very light floral mix here definitely kind of that Chanel kind of DNA in there and then in the base notes it's saying that it has orris, cedar, cashmere, honey, and vanilla so as this dries down in the skin it still has many of my little favorites in there I love that kind of warmth from the cashmere, the honey, and the vanilla but again you guys this is not going to be a sort of syrupy kind of rich sweet fragrance. This has those aldehydes. It's got little light florals in here and then in the base it's going to have a little bit of that cozy nature to it but again nothing heavy at all. To me this is going to be a breezy kind of fragrance. It definitely has got a little bit of sparkliness to it and to me the best way for me to describe it is sort of like Perrier water like with a fresh little squeeze of lime. This doesn't have lime in it, but just kind of that feeling. It's a very hot day and you have a glass of ice and you're going to pour that Perrier or Pellegrino. It's going to give you that little carbonation kind of hit and kind of be very refreshing. So again, you guys, it's got that Chanel DNA in here. It's got those aldehydes. It's kind of got that classic floral hit there. Just that little bit of orange blossom, a little bit of jasmine in it. But this one has a slight powderiness to it. This is definitely a musk fragrance. Very fresh, inviting. So if you want to think of clean white sheets, you want to think of carbonated little Perrier drink that's going to make you feel clean and fresh and kind of cut through the heat, this is the perfect fragrance for that. And because it's got that Chanel kind of aldehydes and DNA in it, it's going to also make you feel a little bit chic and put together. So it's not just your typical kind of white musk. Definitely got a little bit more oomph going on in it. So we're finishing with 1957 on this very hot day. Okay guys, this is my final look 
of the day on this very hot and steamy day. And I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are staying cool. And I will be back with another video soon.